Welcome back to Bilar. Random Rick Reviews. We have a Marvel Legends Iron Man here. Got him for six bucks at Ross. So it was laying on the floor. <laughs> so Ross recently has had crazy deals on the cool action figures. Uh, it's the only one I saw of Iron Man. I did get US Agent, but I got that from Ollie's. So not at the same time, but I did see US Agent there and a couple other legends up here. Like here and there at Ross at these days for now. But this is a cool looking Iron Man figure. I don't try not to collect a lot of, let's say, regular size action figures because there's so many to collect. It can get out of hand. Collecting can get out of hand, period. So I just thought this was a really cool looking Iron Man. I don't know. Just reminded me of like the Iron Man I know. So we're going to open it up, see how he looks outside this box here. Uh, I don't need tape. A little bit of tape. Alright, here we go. Not a huge fan of these boxes. I know I said that in the U.S. Agent review, but I do like the G.I. Joe classified boxes a lot. How they, they're just very easy to get everything out and keep intact. This isn't too bad. All right, so here, so nice colors on here. Looks really good. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of this. It's like, it's like a white sticker. And, all right. Let's get them out of the box here. Comes with these pulsar blasts, which is cool. Two fists, and whatever these are. I'm not sure what the point of those are. I guess the right tells you the story here. Blah, blah, blah. Stripped down Iron Man inspired. Classic design. Well, ex explains why I liked it so much. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, he looks kind of goofy. <laughs> if you don't have those blasters in, he just he's just like this. Uh, let's see how he's standing. Stand up there, Iron Man. All right. All right, he's fine. Uh, let's put the blasters in. Alright, looks pretty cool. I feel like you would need some kind of, I don't know, better action scene for this. So I don't know how that looks. <laughs> With the blasters. Look kind of like icicles to me at least. I guess you could have them shooting there. But you do have the options, which is always nice. Standard articulation for these guys. Kind of stiff knee joints here. Maybe. I don't know. Feels like it's going to break if I mess with these knees. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm not going to do that. So it's pretty much going to stand probably just like this. Kind of feel like he needs one of those. Oh, he doesn't have a back peg. Stands where he can like elevate them. So he's like off the ground doing this instead of just kind of on the ground doing this. I really don't know what these spiral things are for. So I'll probably have to look up how people have done it in their dioramas and stuff. But in any case, for six bucks, it's a good looking Iron Man. If you see it and you're an Iron Man fan, I definitely would get it. Um, not sure about the knee joints. Maybe he doesn't bend at the knee, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force it. Okay. 
and go. All right. So that is the Iron Man. So let's head turn. Yeah, not much. Uh, I'm not too impressed with like his movement. I am not a Marvel Legends collector. I think I only have unboxed U.S. Agent. But he seemed fine in comparison. I don't know. Still cool though. Looks great. Just stand up. You do gotta kind of bend them forward a little bit. Those so weights a little off, I guess. This is kind of odd. Oh, well, that is. Marvel Legends, Iron Man. So, overall, happy with the buy. And as always, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. It is much appreciated. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.